Good morning children wish you all a very happy new year 2013 today the date is 1st january 2013 and the new year starts from today now you may ask what is a new year first let us understand what is a year you know aman is 8 years old and like you all he studies in class 3 and his birthday is on 5th march how long aman has to wait for his birthday well look at the calendar it is january right now then comes the month february in short feb then is the march month in march see there are days 1 2 3 4 5 yes 5th of march this is aman's birthday see there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 Mm, 31 days in the month of march same way other months too consist of many days varying from 28 to 31 days which we will see later so aman has to wait for the month january to finish then february and then comes march so he has to wait for Two months from now, for his birthday to come. March is Aman's favorite month, as his birthday is in the month of March, and he gets lots of gifts, wishes, and love from friends and family. Then is the April month. Other than the March month, what all time Aman looks forward to? Yes, summer time. when the schools remain closed and aman enjoys at home with friends eating ice creams mangoes and playing whole day long with his friends it's fun time for him for aman the school remains closed for the next two months that is may and june after two months of long vacation Aman school reopens in July and then he will go to next class which is class 4 so he will be the student of fourth class same way there are other months too in the year like August September October November and December you know there are 12 months which make a year so january is the first month of the year that is why we wish happy new year to all our near and dear ones on january 1st the next month is called february then comes the month march then is the april month next comes may which is the next month it is june then comes july then it is august september october november december yes december is the last month of a year let us see again what all months make a year starting from the beginning the first month is january the second month is february the third month is march april is the fourth month fifth month is may the sixth month is june and july is the seventh month the eighth month is august September is the 9th month. 
the 10th month is october 11th month is november and the 12th month is december so december is the last month of the year and the cycle of years continues so after the december month again january of the next year comes and we call it a new year so after december 2013 what will come january and since it will be a new year or another year so it will be 2014 that is 213 plus 1 which is the year 2014 understood now you will also understand why your age increases by 1 year after your birthday is over like aman will be 9 year old on march 5th 2013 this is because a year has passed since his last birthday on march 5th 2012 On March fifth, two thousand and twelve, he celebrated his eighth birthday. Then came April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December of two thousand twelve. Then the new year started, two thousand and thirteen, January, February, and March. So, twelve months or a year passed since his last birthday, and he became one year older. That is, he is nine years old now, as on March fifth, two thousand thirteen. So remember, one year consists of twelve months, and it starts with the January month and ends with December. right children you may ask why only 12 months not 13 or 11 months in a year actually this is based on the revolution of the earth around the sun you know the year is based on the number of days the earth takes to revolve around the sun and this we call it as a year hence a year always has 12 months understood that's all for now bye bye children